Kitty Zuza. This is Zuza Chef. Over the next three weeks, four aspiring chefs from the furthest corners of Kitty Zuza land will be put to the test by culinary legend Gordon Ramzus. I don't follow recipes. I am recipes. These chefs will have to prove they've got what it takes to cook at the highest level. Do I think I've got what it takes? Well, is the sole purpose of eggs to contain surprises? Yes. Three challenges stand between them and the ultimate prize, the Zusa Chef Trophy. That trophy is mine. <gasps> trophies? My middle name is Trophies. Who will claim the title of Zusa Chef Champion? Right, the first test is an invention test. I'm going to give our chefs a selection of ingredients. Their job is simple, make the best plate of food in the world. Olivia, this is an invention test. Make me something delicious for your 15 minutes. You got lucky, Olivia. I just kept things simple and it seemed to work. Isabella, how are you feeling? I... This is an invention test. You have 15 minutes. Go! I... I don't think he liked it. Esme, this is an invention test. Wait, where are all the ingredients? Sorry, didn't have breakfast. Hang on, where's my hat? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Have I won? I think I definitely won. Come on, let's get this finished. Right, this is your invention test. Invention? It's an invention. I call it the surprise egg lie detector. What does it do? It can tell if a surprise egg is telling lies. Ooh, naughty surprise egg. Well, this is actually delicious. Oh, thank you. Well done. Chefs, you've done your invention test and now it's time for one of you to leave the competition. Some of you did well, but some of you are simply horrendous. But the most horrendous of the lot was Isabella. If you could kindly get out as quickly as possible.
As for the rest of you, you better get your heads into gear. Now this competition's only gonna get tougher. Now get lost. Four chefs have become three. Join us next week as our chefs cook for The Critic. It's the final of Zusa Chef, and the battle for the title is almost over. Now, just two chefs remain. I just love food. I would give up being evil to win Zusa Chef. One final challenge stands between them and culinary immortality. This is where we find out what these chefs are really made of. Who will take home the crown? It's raw! Of Zusa Chef Champion. Chefs, welcome to the Zusa Chef Final. You've done so well to get this far, but none of it matters now. Three perfect plates of food, three hours. Let's cook! <laughs> Evil chef Malice has surprised Gordon throughout the competition with some truly exquisite dishes. Right, Malice, what are you going to be cooking for us today? Today I'm going to be cooking French onion tart with butternut puree, then white truffle risotto, and for the pudding, lemon cheesecake with raspberry coulis. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Uh, yes I do. I said you've got a lot on your plate. It's a joke, yeah? It's funny. <laughs> Malice has got some bold flavours, but I'm not sure she's going to finish in time. Esme has impressed throughout the competition by making all her dishes using chocolate. I just love chocolate. Hmm. Right, Esme, what are your three dishes? Well, Gordon, I've decided to stick with what I'm best at, and I'm going to be making three chocolate-based dishes. First, chocolate salad with grated chocolate, then chocolate burger with chocolate fries and chocolate ketchup, and for dessert, chocolate. Combining chocolate and chocolate. Aren't you taking a bit of a risk? It's a final of Zeus, Chef. No risk, no reward. Esme, good luck. Thank you, Chef. I'm worried about Esme's menu. Chocolate and chocolate, it's never been done before. Chefs, you are halfway through. Halfway through! Disgusting. Let's hope they don't taste disgusting. Not enough salt.
Land. Taste this. <gasps> I thought I was evil, but this guy is a whole new level. I thought my food was delicious. <laughs> right, Esme, your turn. Is this some kind of joke? Um. Where's all the food? I was always taught to taste everything. Yeah, a small amount. Don't eat the whole dish. I prefer it this way. Right, none of you have one. You're both terrible. Your food was either awful or it wasn't there at all. Don't get me started on presentation. Where's your love? Where's your passion? You guys have a passion of a rotten old sock. Sometimes I wonder why I became a chef in the first place, having to put up with oafs like you. It's wrong! 11 weeks ago. This is the business opportunity of a lifetime, Ronald Flump began his search for his new business partner. Four contestants took on challenging tasks. Now, only two remain. This is the Zoo's Apprentice final. would like to meet you in Flump Tower. The car will be with you in 20 minutes. Esme, 20 minutes, Flump Tower. Oh. Look Esme, I just want you to know that no matter what happens, we can still be friends. No hard feelings yet? Esme? <sighs> Flump Tower, home to enigmatic business mogul, Ronald Flump. Good morning, princesses. Good morning, Mr. Flump. Congratulations on making it to the final. Now, for your final task, I thought would really up the ante. I'd like you to purchase the ingredients for slime, make it, and bring it back here. Well, go on then. For Esme, this task is a dream come true. I just love slime. But Liliana is struggling to get enthusiastic. I just don't see what this has to do with business. Don't get me wrong, I love slime. But I'm not here to make slime. I'm here to win a business. I still can't remember what I'm doing any of this for. The finalists put the finishing touches to their slime. And it's time to head back to the boardroom. Can you send the candidates in then, please? His flumpness will see you now. <sighs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Flump. Now, I set you a task to make me some slime. Show me the slime. Hmm, yep. As I expected, both awful. Look, I can't hire either of you. You're both terrible. So, Esme and Liliana, with regret, actually, without regret, you're both fired. Esme, I've got something to tell you. I'm pretty sure Ronald Flump isn't a real person. <laughs> Ugh. 
Seriously, I think his hair is a wig. How did it take you that long to work out? He's not a real person, he's a flump. <gasps> Esme, how did you work that out? I might not be great at business, but I know a lot about candy. I'm not standing for this. I managed to convince the world that a piece of candy was a billionaire businessman. Think what else I could do. Aha! Maybe my puppet could run for president of the zoo's United States. And I could take over the world. Ha ha ha! What are you princesses doing? I told you both that you're fired, didn't I? What don't you understand? Get him, Esme. Esme, what are you doing? Oh, you rotten princesses. I'll get you for this. <laughs> <laughs>